Occlusion Laboratory Video Guides Video 3 Mounting For this exercise you will need your face bow transfer, articulator, rubber bowl and spatula, and mounting stone. First place 26 cc's of water into the rubber bowl. Directly following that, add the entire package of mounting stone. Note that each manufacturer is different and the water powder ratio will vary. At this point, the face bow should be transferred to the articulator with the model. Once the stone and water have been put into the bowl, spatulate until the consistency shown has been reached. Helpful tip, if too much water has been added to the stone, the mix will be thin and the setting time will take longer. If less water is used, then the consistency will be much thicker and the setting time will be much shorter. When the consistency of the stone has been reached, drop stone on the middle of the model. Also, apply stone to the articulating plate. Once stone has been applied to both sides, close the articulator. Note there will be voids. This step is only to secure the location of the maxillary cast on the articulator. Once done with this step, do not throw the residue into the sink. Throw the bulk into the garbage first. Once that is done, you may rinse out the bowl in the sink, as shown. We now must fill the voids left from the first step. We disconnect the maxillary from the articulator. Repeating the last steps, we mix another batch of stone. We then take the stone and fill in the voids between the plate and the model. It is important to remember that everything done in the lab needs to be neat and clean. Once filling the voids, you may use your finger or an instrument to clean the borders of the plate and of the model. A good tip would be to use water once the stone begins to set. By using your finger and water, rubbing the stone will give it a smooth effect. A sharp tool may be used to scrape off any excess left. Now it is time to mount the mandibular cast. When looking at the occlusion, you can see that on the patient's left side, there is no contact on the last molar. In this case, we are looking for maximum intercrispation, which means as many teeth in contact as possible. In this case, make sure anteriors are in contact. By using a rubber band, we ensure that the occlusion will not move while articulating the mandibular cast. We now remount the maxillary cast onto the articulator. With the rubber band in place, the mandibular is in occlusion with the maxillary. Make sure that the rubber band is not in the way of the indexes made on the bottom of the mandibular cast. With the articulator upside down, we will now repeat the step of mixing another batch of stone. The same steps done to the maxillary will now be done to the mandibular. You will mix another batch of stone, place it in the center of the model, and on the articulating plate. You will then close the articulator as you did with the maxillary cast. Once the stone has set, you will repeat the steps you did with the maxillary and then clean the articulation. When finished, your articulation should look similar to the one shown. 